Hey guys, it's Fishlet here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Showdown series. Now, I know that today is supposed to be the whole Mario videos, but I was unable to get it up, as you know, because of my really bad sore throat. It is going be uh, getting better now. I'm actually able to speak without it really, really hurting, but it's still just a huge pain. That's the reason right why right now I'm not able to record for 30 minutes straight. And that was a crit, and somehow I still managed to survive. So once again, I do have to just simply apologize for... My voice is sounding really bad. I'm trying to still g give you guys some videos just so you have something to really watch. I might go out into Quagsire right now. Because if I go out into him, he's going to go for an exit. That's going to do 40 damage. I think, you're lock I think you're locked in though. There's no way you're able to do anything else. I could just go. I'm going to go for a Scald. I'm going to go into a Mantine. Uh, it should have gone for the... What's it called there then? It should have gone for the Recover or the, the Ice Beam. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam. He's going to Toxic me. Okay, we could have traded Toxics. And actually, I'm going to do that now because you're going to be a real, real pain. So, there we go. It's going to go for the Toxic. The Mantine does have Leftovers as well. And I have Water Absorb as well. So, now we're both toxic And yeah, this is going to be great. This is going to be really great. So, I could go on the Dark Rye. I don't want to just show that card just yet, though. I don't feel like it's a good option. I have Shaman, but he's really, really weak. And if I go out... Into a move like Skull, it's not going to really go well. I could just simply go for another Ice Beam. Air Slash, 30 damage. I'm going to go for Recover next turn as well. And I should be able to live that. If I'm correct, it does like 30 damage or whatever. So I'm just going to Recover. I basically just want this man team out of the way. And I flinch, of course. Are you kidding me right now? I had to flinch. I couldn't have just gone away with it. Well, I have one health. I'm going to go down. The man team's also probably going to die with me. But Mantine has 160 speed. I should be able to outspeed that. Bronzong goes out. I go for Recover. Okay, so now actually, I'm able to live that. I should be faster. 103, you have 98. So right now, I should be able to just simply... I can't go for a Toxic because you're Steel. Could go for a Burn, though. I'm going to go for Scald, see if I can get a Burn. Please get a Burn. No, I'm... Don't get it burned, but he sets up a light screen. I don't like that at all. Well, now, I could go into Typhlosion, but he has that light screen up, so I'm not sure that's the best move for me. Could go for an Earthquake, but you Levitate, probably. You might not, though. But knowing my luck, you probably will. I'll show my card then. Could go for the Thunder Wave, though. Which might be nice, and I get the Intimidate off as well. So I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave, just to kind of, like, cripple a little bit more. And then I'm going to test to see if he has... Um, ooh, that does a lot. Please tell me you do, you do not have a Levitate. You probably do, but I am hoping right now that you do not. Please. Please. And also, just right now, I'm trying to waste time because that light screen is going to be a huge, huge pain. And it has, um, two more turns left. So, if, I, if it doesn't, like, stop soon, it's going to be a huge huge problem go for the earthquake he does have levitate so that was a big problem now all i have left to counter this thing he has the gyro ball as shown before and he's not locked into any of the moves could go for an eruption though that's my best option i think right now eruption 100 percent accuracy no I, I have full health though actually that's good that's better then I'm going to go for Eruption now. Mantine, okay, it's still going to do a ton of damage to him. Never mind, it only did 16 damage. 16%. Welp. And now I'm locked in. I could swap out. It's going to take more Toxic damage. And then I could go for the Quiver Dances? No. Could go to Dark Rye, but I don't... He's going to have Skull. He has Skull, as shown before. I can't keep him with Typhlosion. Typhlosion is going to be crucial. And this guy is going to be 6 0 me. I do not want him to 6 0 me. That would just be embarrassing if he 6 0 me. Six O's. No, six zero me. So that's not happening at all. But what's he gonna be going for now? Because he, he's probably gonna be predicting the switch. He just doesn't know who. And I want that shaman. The shaman's my like counter to this man team a little bit. But same time, it's not really because I can't really do much. Shaman's health is he's so injured right now from that Armaldo that literally I can't really do anything at all. So I need to I need him right now to just 
do like a really dumb move. Like go for like a toxic. Which would just waste a turn, even though toxic I don't really want, regardless on any Pokemon. So never mind, that's actually not a good idea at all. But what would be the best scenario right now? Because he's apparently just really, really debating it. I'm asking him if he's okay, but uh, what would be the best scenario right now? I'm actually having a hard time with that. I don't really know. Alright, so there we go. I'm going to send out the um, Venom off. He goes for the Skull, as, pre as I predicted. And he also has a Leftover to be taking the Toxic Damage. I kind of just want to go for a sl Sludge Bomb or Quiver Dance. I might go for a Quiver Dance, because Skull only does 35. And I can just go out into someone else. I don't really know. Um, Bug Buzz is 90% power. So it is the same. But he's already poisoned. I'm going to go for the Bug Buzz. It does 11%. I forgot. Okay then. Um, yeah. Hopefully right now a Sludge Bomb will kill you. Because that did so, so much. No, I have 3% left. Are you kidding me right now? All right, and now he's gonna. Now the Mantine's gonna die as well. Now is the best option for me to go out into Darkrai, because he doesn't know that I have Darkrai at all. He might be sending out the Bronzong again, or maybe the Armado. I don't really know, but if Darkrai has Dark Void, it is going to be so so powerful. And then I basically just won. But I, he needs to have the Dark Void, or else it's not gonna really do much at all. But yeah, this voice right now I don't really like. It sounds really really like gargling to me so if it sounds like that to you guys i am sorry i'm just trying to give you the video right now so you have something to watch but like it's it's a lot deeper than what it's typically and i kind of sound sometimes like right now it's pretty good that's why i'm recording but it sounds like i'm kind of losing my voice in a way it, it kind of does but i'm not really losing my voice it's just my my throat is just extremely sore so he's really really just thinking hard right now on this move and there's no way I don't think I can win this unless Darkrai just pulls it out of a hat and all of a sudden just starts winning so I'm gonna sell Darkrai he sends out Dewblade okay he does have Dark Void uh I could go for the sub I'm gonna go for the sub it's a little bit risky uh what's my item he does have Sacred Sword okay so that's not good I do have leftovers though uh I'm gonna go for a Dark Void 80% accuracy, please just right now, land this, land this right now, that would be amazing if you do that, then I can get behind the sub successfully, and just start setting up, and then bad dreams as well, that, that's going to be amazing, I just need you right now, dark void, he falls asleep, that's great, bad dreams as well right now, I'm going to heal up the leftovers, and then take, I take 12% from that, now I'm going to set up behind the sub, you might wake up from the sub, but, not really worried about that. He might, he might make. Oh, he's gonna wake up from the sub. No, he might wake up from the sleep, and then attack. Okay, I don't care. It was a free sub for me. That's. I'm gonna take that. He can destroy my sub very, very quickly because he's fairy and I'm dark. But I'm gonna go for another dark void again. Wait, what? Sleep claw on um, claws mod. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Basically, if you guys don't know what that does. It just makes it where um, only one Pokemon can be asleep on the opponent's team at one time. Which I personally just do not like at all because if you're able to put the whole team asleep at once, you might as well do that. Like, that's the opponent's fault for swapping in to that move. But in Showdown, they have that little restriction and I don't like it at all. I feel like it... Is not a good part. He could predict the switch right now. He went for Moonblast last time. I don't know why he's not clicking Moonblast straight away right now. He might be predicting me to swap out. I'm going to Typhlosion just because he's not able to take that hit. I'm going to probably just be going for a Fire Blast right now. No. I'm going to go for an Eruption. Armaldo. Okay. Eruption. That's going to just completely destroy him. So now we're starting to make a little bit of a comeback. Not really a huge, huge come back but actually I just realized Typhlosion does work against this team so far like Bronzong is dead really but because he doesn't have peak proof right now as we found out he has levitate he has Dewblade which would be dead as well the fairy type is gonna be the problem I still have Shaman which I could use but he's gonna die within one hit 
So he's not really that great, like, right in the beginning. I'm just kind of curious on what he's going to be doing. So right now, he is 120 seconds of that. It sounds like a, a long, long time, but really, that goes by in two minutes, if you think about it. And he sends out a Luxray. Well, they're going to be faster than me, 164. No! Now this is the thing. Do I go out into Darkrai? Because he can't really take a hit, but neither can Typhlosion. But Typhlosion does work against this guy. He puts in a lot of work. Like, a ton of work. So I can go out to Darkrai, just go for a Dark Pulse thing. But literally, he he's only going to be able to do one. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not. He might get destroyed. Yep, he gets destroyed. Alright, well, the reason why I did that was just because... Typhlosion puts in so much work right now that it just wouldn't make sense for him to just like sacrifice him. I'm gonna go for another eruption. It doesn't kill. Now that was the thing I was worried about because I can't believe that we just killed that guy. But now the problem is eruption's not gonna do as much because now he's so weak and we're locked in. See that that did four damage. Like that was once once we got low on health, eruption could not do nearly as much. I could go for the rest right now. What item do you have? Natural cure you have is your ability. So I'm going to fall asleep. Heal back up. And I'm going to go for Moonblast. I heal up a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to hopefully wake up and go for a Leech Seed. That might be my best option. I don't know when Natural Cure. I think it has a certain percent chance of working at the end of a battle. If I'm correct. No. So there we go. Please. Yeah, I... So far, I'm not getting lucky. I might have to just chance for another rest afterwards. Because he's going to be wasting all... I woke up, I wake up, and I go for rest again. So right now, I'm just wasting all this PP on the Moonblast. Because once that thing is gone, Shaman can still do a lot of work with the Leech Seed and such. And you're going to go out on the Dewblade. Okay, I think he knows right now what I'm trying to do. I'm literally just trying to gain... I'm um, trying to have him, like... Waste all his PP. He's asleep. I'm asleep. So he's trying to wake up the d dude blade as well. He's like, might as well wake it up. I'm going to plant my seeds on you. You're still going to be asleep. I'm going to suck some of your life. And now I'm full health. Which is great. I'm going to go for a, a seed flare. I'm going to swap out on the bronze zone. Okay, you're paralyzed. Still only does that. I'm going to still just put more seeds down. Because I might as well gain some more health from you. You're paralyzed. Gain some more of that health, buddy. Air Slash, might as well, I don't really. Air Slash, the 7%, so... Seed Flare did do a lot more. Seed Flare did 18% when Air Slash did 7. Even though now, he's Bronzong's dead. Dude, Shaman is pulling in with the work right now. Like, really. Leech Seed, Dewblade's still asleep. I'm not sure right now if the counter got reset because he swapped in and out. It might have. Because typically, if you stay in within like four turns, basically, you automatically wake up. But since he swapped down, I'm not sure if the timer reset or what. No, I don't think it did. Or, it just got, or he got really, really lucky, which could be the case. He might have just gotten lucky. I'm going to go for the Seed Flare, though. I only have six PP left, but I did 27 damage, and his special defense went down as well. He's getting greedy now as well. He went for a sword stance, and now he's going to go down to a Seed Flare. So, boys, this comeback... We are making a huge comeback right now with a Shaman. Shaman, the great thing about him is that he's bulky. He is tremendously bulky, and with Natural Cure, I think that really... No, the Natural Cure didn't even play at all. We just woke up by chance. So this battle so far, I'm looking at the chat right now, has gone on for 38 turns, and we were losing. And he forfeited. Wow, he just left. Well, guys, that was the battle. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like button down below. Or the subscribe button if you like my content in general. Hopefully soon, my voice will be getting better. I, I've, been, I've been doing everything possibly. Uh, everything possibly. I've been doing everything possible to try and get my voice back to normal so I can record for you guys. But it just seems like nothing can work. But anyways, I hope you all have enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.